Today we're going to compare two super popular AppSumo AI writers to see how good their SEO is. The first one is Texta, has 382 reviews, which is quite a few for AppSumo. The next one is Wordplay, has 254 reviews, and we're going to use Neuron Writer with 635 reviews to determine the quality of the SEO output. So if you want to check out any one of these, there's links to all of them in the description. They are affiliate links. If you go and buy through those links, I get a commission for that. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos for you. So I really appreciate it if you do. With that out of the way, let's hop right into it. First thing I did was set up a keyword inside a Neuron Writer. I've got a full walkthrough of Neuron Writer linked to in the card up above if you want to check that out. So the keyword we used is fun things to do while camping in the rain. And I kind of diverged a bit from that. And I made a title. 11 fun kids camping activities for rainy days, a rainy day camping must have list, and I wrote a description down here. Had a little bit of AI help, and I tweaked it myself to, to get it to how I wanted it, and to try to include as many of these terms down below as possible. So you see all the green terms are ones that I managed to include in the title and description. And just having those two things in place, our score is 10. Not great, but also not terrible. For only having a title, title and a description. So the next thing I want to do is actually create the content. I'm going to use this keyword inside of Texta using the blog post option. Let's copy the keyword. I changed a little bit. 11 fun kids activities to do while camping in the rain. So it's more of a title. The voice I want to have as friendly or the tone I should say. Um, article type is a listicle. And I'm going to go to manual so we can walk through the steps and create the best content possible. And we're gonna do this again with wordplay. Then we're gonna put both the results into Neuron Writer to see how they fare as far as SEO goes. Let's click on next. This will generate titles. And it doesn't matter which one I choose, let's choose any one. I'm gonna replace it in the next step, the blog outline step, because I already have my title. So I just wanna use the one that I have. In fact, I'll come back over here and copy it. Here's the title. Let's paste our title in there. There we go. I'm not going to edit this outline. It's going to make sure there's 11 things, and there are. So it listens. That's good. Click on Generate. This is going to create the article. While it's doing that, we're going to head over to Wordplay and do a similar thing. Wordplay recently released version 4 beta, so their article generation is way, way better now. Target keyword. We're kind of diverging from the actual keyword, as you noticed, but we'll just paste this in here for, I don't know for what. Let's paste it in. English, tone, um, energetic. Number of sections is the number of words. So inside Neuron Writer, based on the competitors we chose when we created this project, it's saying we should have at least 1,255 words. The top 10 have an average, or the, the median word count is 1,255. And the top 30 is 1,836. So Maybe we want to target the higher end. 1600 should be good, but there's lots of options for word count. And the higher the word count, of course, the more you use up your credits. Something to note about Wordplay versus Texta, if we go to the plans, Wordplay has pretty strict character limits. First tier, 7,500 words. Second tier, 15,000. Third tier, 2250. Texta has only one plan. It's unlimited words. So that's something to consider. What else you should consider is the quality of the output. So let's see if we can determine which one's better for SEO, which means less work for you. Sometimes you gotta pay more to get better results. You get what you pay for, so they say. Here we choose semantically related keywords. These are keywords that are kind of the same as the one we're going for. And it's gonna incorporate these when generating the content. Brainproof camping gear, that's not it. Camping in wet weather, maybe. But I want specifically games and activities. Camping tips, camping essentials, camping games for rainy days, camping crafts, sure, it's an activity. Activities for bad weather, indoor activities for camping in the rain. I'm gonna take this one off, so that's pretty good. The ones in green are the ones that we've selected. We can add new ones here if we want, or click on next. Here, we have our title selection, but we already have our title, so we're gonna provide our own. You might also find that one of these is better than the one that you wrote and you want to replace it or include certain things that are said in these titles. Click on next, generate introductions. I don't have one written. 
have that meta description, that could work. But you can have wordplay generate titles and descriptions for you, and it does not go towards your word count. Only the creation of the final article counts towards your word count in wordplay, the, towards the these numbers down here. So you can generate titles and descriptions all day long for free. I'm just going to pick one. I'm not going to take too long picking any of them. You, of course, want to read through them and make sure they're good. Generate outlines. Here we have some outlines. You can mix and match all of these. And I asked for 11, right? Yeah, 11. And it didn't give me 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to add all these. That's 8. I find recently these are the same. They used to be very different, the two sides. But now they're kind of the same. But karaoke's not on there. It's 9. That added it. Yeah, added it right there. Rainy Day Olympics. Campsite Olympics, kind of the same. Rainy Day Science Experiments. Let's add that. It's 10. Rainy Day Puzzle Party. 11. So we have 11. We can come in here and rearrange these if we don't like the order of them. I'm not going to worry too much about that. You can add new sections as well to extend the outline. Then I'll click on Submit. Article for 2200 words because at first we chose 1600, if you recall. But we added more sections. So these outlines are based on 1600 words. There's eight in this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this one. So it's budgeting 200 words per section. And so if you add more sections down here, it's gonna increase the word count. So that happens, I suppose. Um, now we're gonna write this, or it's gonna write it for us. Text to AI is done writing. The output, it looks super cool. Wordplay is probably almost done, but we'll see the output. Just look at this one. The output here is, uh, it's, it's a blog post. It's a wall of text, right? It's not super cool to look at. But the text to output, they add images, tables of contents, call to actions, videos. It's actually really cool, the text to output. But that does not mean that the SEO is very good. So we're going to skip the title and the description up here. We're going to copy all this content. How many words is this? 700. And 68. So it's not close to our target of 1255 or 1800, depending on which target you want. I'm going to not click on that. I want to delete it. I'm going to delete the things, all the extra stuff. But as you can see, NeuronWriter can handle all this stuff, no problem. I just don't want it in our SEO comparison because, just because, it shouldn't even really affect our SEO. Get rid of that call to action. Okay, so after we get rid of all the calls to action and all the captions for the images and things, we're actually down to 583 words. Not so many. And our SEO score is 21. It was 10 just with the title and description. We added 500 words of content from Texta. Now we're at 21. Now remember 21. Keep that in your head. Because now we're going to try to increase that. Or not increase. We're going to compare to wordplay. This one we can just copy and paste. There's no cleanup required. And it's 36. It's not uh, perfect by any means, but it's pretty good. Words are at 1,891, which is just a handful above our 1,836 median for the top 30 rankings. And also, something weird that happens in here. Let's undo this. Neuron Writer likes to have an H1 in here. So when you're writing a blog post, for example, you usually have the title of the post on the page, and that title is in an H1 tag. For some reason, Neuron Writer, when you put the title up here, it does not include the title as an H1 in its calculations. So we got to copy and paste the title into here, put it into an H1, and that bumps our Texta results, because I undid the pasting of the wordplay to add the title, increases it to 31. It's pretty solid. Let's put wordplay in here, and it should be a whole lot higher. All right, let's delete all that. Keep our H1. Paste. This is the results for wordplay. We're up to 43. And now what I've found is a good thing to do is you want to match up your terms, but focus on the extended terms. These are terms that are more long tail. And if you focus on these, you often include these ones by default. For example, rain gear. I bet we can find rain gear. I don't even want rain gear. We're trying to do activities in the rain. Can't see it with a quick pass. But my point is you can include the extended terms that often takes care of the basic terms. 
And also, including the terms and the headings really improves your SEO score. So if we go through here and we edit these headings to try to include as many as the H2 terms as we can, it bumps this score up really high. It's pretty easy to get past 61 just by having your H1, your H2, and content that's pretty good at SEO. And the wordplay content is pretty good. It requires less work. The, the text output is short. There's only 768 words. But when we delete all the extraneous stuff, it's only 580 words. And we gotta do a lot more writing to make it to 1800 or even 1200. So with wordplay, we're already at the word count. All we gotta do now is optimize it for posting. So I'm gonna go ahead and optimize this. Just do it on, on fast forward. But before I do that, I'm going to copy all of this. I'm gonna throw it in GPT-0 or 0GPT, depending which order you like and see if what this detects it as. Detects it as written by human. I haven't made any edits yet. The more edits I make, the more likely it's gonna be human because the edits we're making here will be changing words to better align with the suggested terms on the right and it should be even more human. And that's straight up, let's do straight up. I included the title in this. Just do straight up. Because the title, if you recall, was written by me and included all that that's great let's try that again without the title which was written by me I am still human let's detect that same let's um, let's try the text output also pretty much human hmm. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little optimizing in the H2 terms and some of the text throughout. Just try to get this over 61. You'll see it's not that hard. And really that's all you have to do for your SEO. And you gotta proofread it for accuracy as well. And while you're doing that, you're gonna be able to incorporate more terms as well from the side. It's gonna fast forward while I work on this. So we're at 60 out of 61, and that was a lot of work. Usually it goes a lot faster. Usually I'm not using almost all of the terms in the basic. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to focus on the extended, and then the get basic will take care of itself. But this rainy day camping one was pretty hard for some reason. So to bump us up over the threshold, I'm going to add some FAQs, which we haven't added yet. FAQs don't make sense for every article, but I think it might make sense for this. In Neuron Writer, they have AI templates as well. One of them is FAQs with unused terms. So if we click here, we have the title of our post. We have a list of unused H2 terms that it pulls in from ones we haven't used from the list we've been working on. List of unused basic terms is empty because we have them all in our post. And a list of unused extended terms pulled from our list as well. I'm gonna choose um, informal, I guess, for the writing and then write for me. For generation settings, you can choose, I'll choose medium for creativity. The lower the creativity, the more high quality the writing is. The higher the creativity, the more crazy it gets. And ChatGPT 3.5 is going to make it as cheaply as possible on your AI credits. I'm gonna click on write for me. It's gonna take a minute, it's gonna pop in the FAQs at the bottom of the article, and we should see a nice little bump, maybe to 65 in our little target here. So here's our FAQs. We're at 64, so a little bit higher. And then we can go and work some more on the terms that we have in here. So the reason I like to do the FAQs last is because I've gone through the article now. I've included a lot of these terms where it makes sense. I might wanna do some more work to try to reduce the red ones down into yellow and into green. Not super important, but might be something you wanna do, especially for the longer tail ones. Like the word rainy, I don't think is that important. It's, it's, a, it's a blog post about rainy day activities. So if that's in the red, it's not that big of a deal. But like rainy day campings in the yellow, I could maybe lower that. Rainy days, maybe lower that. Not a huge deal for those. But if it was long tail, if it was something like camping activities for rainy days, if that was in the red, you definitely wanna reduce that one because that would lead to keyword stuffing or it could be flagged as keyword stuffing. And once I've incorporated all these 
all these uh, terms into the post, I then do the FAQs to try to work on stuff I couldn't easily work into the post. And that's what we generated here. And even now, I'm sure we can add some more of these. Portable DVD player. That's straight out of the 90s right there. Who still has DVDs? So I'm not going to go through anymore, but you get the idea. You just go in, add the terms, then add in the FAQs, and we are optimized higher than our competitors, which is awesome. And if we want to see more information about our optimization score here, click on it, and here it shows how we can improve it. So if we were to adjust our title, because our title diverged a bit from fun things to do while camping in the rain. Let's change it, change this here. Fun things to do while camping in the rain. It's less click worthy, I think, but it's going to give us a big boost. We're at 75 now, and then put that in here. I'm going to be like gangbusters. Watch this. Wait for it. 86. So incorporating the exact keyword is really important for Neuron Writer. And for writing itself and, and ranking in search engines, it's not super important anymore, but you still want it in there. So it's kind of a balance. Like, do you do, you do the click-worthy thing that in your post still delivers on the promise, or do you go for the writing that's a, that's a little more keyword-focused and has the exact keyword and gets you an optimization score of 86? I don't know. It's up to you. So this is how I'd use Neuron Writer. And this started out as a comparison between Texta and Wordplay and kind of diverged into optimizing your content for SEO. But now we have this post ready to go. I would say find some pictures or take some pictures or make some pictures and publish it because we're scoring at 86 and then we'll see how it ranks over time. And if you want to check out any of these apps, they're on AppSumo, Texta AI, Wordplay, Neuron Writer, the links to all of them are in the description down below. If you check those out and you buy through that link, we get a commission. I thank you very much for doing that. It does not make it more expensive for you to do that, but AppSumo shares some of the revenue with me, which helps me keep making these videos for free. Next up, if you want to check out my videos focused on Neuron Writer, check it out right there. And down below is a video focused on Wordplay. Check those two out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I'll see you in the next video.